Today, we want to go in and we want to see what else God has to say about being a bondservant. And we're going to do that by taking you to other truths outside of the book of James, referred to as cross-references. What you're going to learn and discover is that God uses truth to explain truth. But sadly, you and I have been conditioned to run straight to man, to let man explain truth to us instead of God himself. Why? Did you ever consider that man might be right, but finite created man might very well be wrong? And how that must grieve the Father that we would listen to man above him? More importantly, how that must grieve Jesus who left the portals of heaven, confined himself to the womb of a woman to become flesh and blood to die for you and me, and yet we cannot seem to discipline ourselves on a daily basis to sit at his feet and do the one thing that is necessary. How can you and I build a relationship with the living God sitting at the feet of men and women rather than at the feet of Jesus? It can't happen. You need to understand that the best commentary for scripture is not man, but it is scripture. It is God himself. And God tells us that he speaks to us through his son today, who is the living word. Now, you and I don't have Jesus in the flesh, but we do have him from Genesis to Revelation. And he speaks truth to us by the power of the spirit. And we need to remember that every time we come to the word. Well, today we want to go in and we want to look at the first cross-reference for bondservant, which is found in Exodus chapter 21, verses 3 through 5. Now, when you come to these verses, you all, do not make it mechanical and do not be in a hurry because you're coming to meet with your creator, your king, your Lord and savior, and you want to listen to his every word. And you do that by reading slowly, reading with a purpose, reading with a questioning mindset, asking the five W and H questions. Listen carefully to what he has to say to you about being a bondservant. He's waiting. Let's go hear what he has to say.